Hi, it's Marianne of MW's Designs. I've recently been intrigued by Celtic knots and I decided I wanted to do an art project with one of them. And the one I chose is this one, which is called a triquetra with a circle. And I did a little bit of research about this symbol and it's very old. Um, the Celts used it and it, to them, the three points represented earth, air, and water. Neo-pagans used it, and it represented the triple goddess of mother, maiden, and crone, which um, included the three stages in a woman's life. Uh, many faiths, including Christians, have used it. For the Christians, it is the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The circle symbolizes eternity, unity, and protection. The first thing I needed to do um, to start my art project was learn how to draw the triquetra. And I found quite a good tutorial by Tom McPherson on his YouTube channel called the Circle Line Art School. And if you are looking for um, tutorials in learning drawing skills, I really recommend his channel. So this is how it starts. You need to draw an equilateral triangle with the sides all the same length with each other. And I'm not really good at this, but I'm practicing and hopefully getting a little bit better. So when you have your triangle, you make a mark in the center and you want to go from one point around the mark in the center and end up at another point and do that for each of the points. Whoops, that kind of moved on me. And then this last one. Okay, I don't know if my triangle was an equilateral triangle, but close enough. Then you want to have a double line for each of those sections. And then the triangle can be erased. And next you want to do the circle. And it goes inside each of those sections. And again, a double line all the way around. And there are more instructions if you are doing the actual drawing because you weave each um, double line through the other ones and you erase the parts that aren't needed. So that's just kind of a rough version of how to draw it. He also, uh, Tom McPherson also shows how to um, add shading, which makes the, the weaving show up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to be um, using, well, I've got my drawing here that is a better one. When, you, when I took a little more time, I could do it a little better. Um, and I'm going to be using graphite paper, which has a graphite coating on one side and then nothing on the other side. So I have my drawing and, oh, I wanted to show you this. This is the package for the graphite paper. I got this at an art store, but you can also get it at Michael's and other craft stores. It's not very expensive. I think I paid about $6 for two nine, nine, nine inch by 12 inch 
pieces of this paper. Then I have a painted piece of watercolor paper and I'm going to put the dark side, the um, side with the graphite coating down and then I'm going to have my drawing on top because I'm going to transfer this drawing to my watercolor paper and I have a little clip that I'm going to use to hold these together while I'm doing the transfer. So I try and do it in a logical way. I just trace not too heavily over each of the lines and do each section at a time so that hopefully I don't miss any spots but I'll show you how you can lift up the paper and you can check how it's going underneath. Okay, I'm getting not too dark a line but a line that I can see. And of course if it's easier for you, you can turn your paper. I'm just going to do it really quickly here. Okay, this way. Not too dark. I think some parts I've gone a little bit darker. And again, I'm not going really carefully. I'm going a little bit fast. But if you were doing it for your final piece, of course you would do it more carefully than I'm doing it here. Okay, how far have we got? All right, we've got the three sections and then you would trace around the circle. So I have actually done that here. Then I'm going to use my hobby knife and if you don't like using a hobby knife you could poke a hole and um, use a small pair of pointy scissors. That would work too. I recommend cutting the inside sections out first because what I found is if I tried to do this and this and then the inside I ended up going over the lines that I didn't want to go over and I cut out parts that I didn't want to. So anyway, cut that out. And then when you've got all the inside pieces, then you can cut out around the outside edge. Okay. Anyway, that um, just gives you the idea about that part. And I'm going to set that aside. And this is one that I have cut out. I'm actually going to bring this back over here. It maybe gives a little bit better background for you to see it. So this is the part that had the lines on it. And I would turn it over. And to do my little decoration on top of it, I have confetti glitter glue that I bought at the dollar store and it's it's kind of fun because it's got these little tiny circles in it. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to take the lid off and it has a fairly good spout that will work to um, squirt out. Sometimes I find the spouts don't work so well but this one seems to. So I just go around and get all the edges covered. And it does take a while for it to dry. I usually let it dry several hours or overnight. You might even want to go back after it's dry and add a little bit more just to get better coverage. 
Now what I'm planning to do with my finished one, for starters, is to make a card. But I will do that perhaps in another video. Um, and another thing you could do with it, I, I often like to make decorations that um, I hang up in my window or somewhere around the house. I have a little tree that I will hang seasonal decorations on and I find that kind of fun to do. Now if you were using this for a decoration to hang up, of course you would probably want to do both sides, but if you were doing it for a card, you wouldn't need to. So anyway, this is my finished one that you already saw, but it is quite pretty. If I were putting it on a card, I would have, I might do some kind of a patterned background, either one that I would paint or I might buy some patterned paper that I thought would look well with it and I would put a border around the edge of some sort and then I've been also looking for little Irish sayings or um, blessings that I would put inside the card. So that's my project for today. I hope you had fun watching and maybe you'll try it for yourself. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you have a question or if you want to make a, a comment, you can put it below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to please hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so you will find out when my next